Hi guys, Trevor here from Optics Planet. As you can see, I'm preparing for a hunt. Trying out a lot of great new awesome gear. Hunts with Vortex Optics. I'm going out with the winner of the Dream Hunt Vortex Sweepstakes. And sitting on top of my rifle right here, we got a Vortex Viper HS-T, a new scope from Vortex. Love it so far, have it zeroed in, ready to go. It's a four to 16 by 44. We're going out to North Platte, Nebraska to Hidden Valley Outfitters out there. So, you know, I'm hoping I can take a shot at some closer range as well within 200 yards, but I know I can hit out there four or 500, not gonna be a problem even a little bit beyond that. So a Vortex Viper HS-T, it's a four to 16 by 44 millimeter scope. Sitting up top, a Remington 700 build, it's in 300 Win Mag. Obviously you can see it's not your normal 700. This is an XLR Evolution chassis, carbon fiber chassis as well, so it's new from XLR Evolution. Carbon fiber fore end on here, aluminum chassis, pistol grip style stock. I'm more familiar with an AR-15 platform. Love the bolt guns, but I have a lot of work behind an AR. I know it intimately, so I love this design. Something cool about this, fully adjustable stock back here. I can adjust it for length of pull. I can cant it towards my face, adjust the cheek piece. Also a folding sock, which really helps for transport. I really enjoy folding socks when you're trying to move a rifle around. So Remington 700 with that Vortex Viper, it's optimal for taking out that whitetail or mule deer. New Vortex rings on there as well, so I'm giving those a go. Great design, easy to install, scope didn't move on me, didn't have leveling issues at all. EGW rail that those rings are sitting on. So a great new rifle to test out with a great new Vortex Optics scope, the Viper HS-T. Now I never just go out with one firearm, you never know what's gonna happen in the field. So also right here, I have a Springfield XC45 that's gonna be coming out with me, just in case factor. Looking at the case right now for airport travel, Pelican 1750. One of the best cases out there, it can take anything, it's crush proof, but you know, it'll float, it's watertight. It's a great case for airline travel, and it's a big case, which I like because I put the rifle in there, but I actually put the rifle in a soft case. I'm gonna use this OpMod soft case right here, this rifle case. The rifle's gonna stay in there inside the Pelican 1750 so I can put a whole lot of gear in the case with it ahead of time, so it's all in one location, and then I don't have to carry around a big, uh, heavy gun case when I'm just hopping in and out of trucks all over the place. So I can just leave the rifle in the soft case, leave the hard case back at the lodge. So, rifle in the case transport right there. Now I'm testing out a whole bunch of other gear too, some really cool gear. A lot of it's coming from Badlands. That's my pack right here. This is the Badlands Super Day backpack. Great pack for a day, even two days out in the field. Great straps, good padding, a lot of pockets, big enough for everything you're gonna need on there. And when you're going on a hunt, you take a lot of gear. Some of the stuff that I always have with me, gloves. You never know what kind of temperature range you're gonna be in. I know North Platte, Nebraska's temperature range from when I'm gonna be there is about 45 degrees during the day to the teens at night. So I have some thicker, warmer gloves because at dawn and dusk it's gonna be getting a little bit chilly. And then I have some lightweight gloves that I can use during the day with good grip on them. Really, really important to have a nice set of gloves, a couple sets of gloves. Anytime you're hunting, blaze orange is always a hunter's friend. So no matter where I'm going, I always have a blaze orange hat with me. Now it's important to know where you're hunting, the rules and regulations on what you need to wear. But regardless, I always keep a blaze orange hat in there. And I don't have hair on my head, so my head gets quite cold. So I always have plenty of other hats just in case laying around. Always never know when you're gonna need one. Couple other things, some of a hunter's best friend, knives. Trusty multi-tool, it works. It's always gonna work, I trust it. And then I have a Puma Elk Hunter as well. Great knives, you never know what's gonna happen. I like to live by the philosophy, two is one, one is none. So it's always good to have a couple knives with you. Another one of a hunter's best friend, binocular. If you spend most of your time on a hunt glassing behind a binocular, it's a necessary piece of equipment on a hunt. And like I said, you're gonna spend most of your time behind this glass than behind a rifle scope. So you wanna make sure you have a nice binocular with you. So that's of course going in the bag. Some new camouflage I'm trying out. Once again, going back to Badlands. Some new gear I picked up from them. Pants with built-in suspenders, really like that system. Reinforced knees, great pockets, a lot of flexibility. It's a fleece outer lining, just like the jacket, so it's not noisy, it's not nylon. You don't hear that, sh -sh -sh, that swishing back and forth. It's a silent system, no scent on there. Real tree camouflage, I'm really happy to try those out. Hopefully they work really well. Again, great jacket. It's important to realize, just like with the gloves, the temperature you're gonna be in. This is a lighter weight jacket, but it's gonna be perfect for the temperature that I'm gonna be in, ideal for my location this time of the year. So really excited to try the new Badlands gear out. I've been wearing, wearing it right now, breaking it in. So far, it's been worked really well for me. I'm just outside Chicago, it's already had some nippy days out here, but it's been working really well for me so far. A Little bit more gear that I always have with me because you never know what's gonna happen. Freezer bags, always in your bag. 
eyes and ears, whether in your range bag or taking on your hunt, it's always good to have your eye protection and ear protection. Silicone airplugs like these work perfect because at the end of the hunt I just throw them away, but it's always good to have these. We're going to have a little bit of range time out there as well, so of course those are going to go in the bag. Never know when something's going to happen. Mylar blanket, absolutely going to be going in the bag. Paracord, good to have if you have to tie an animal off, whether you're quartering it. It's always good to have a little bit of paracord in your bag. Final couple of pieces right here. Reservoir system. I'm a big fan of the reservoir systems. This pack is designed to take in water reservoir, so I can put 100 ounces of water in here. It's got a specially designed pocket in the bag. Tube comes out, stays right by my face. I don't have to worry about pulling water bottles in and out, drinking it, closing it, putting it back. The tube's right by my face. Big fan of the reservoir system. So that, of course, is going on the hunt. And one of the most necessary pieces on a hunt, because you never know what's going to happen. You can get stuck outside at night, and you don't want to be in the dark at night, and it's a wilderness where you're not familiar with, headlamp. Especially if you take that animal end of the night, you want to be able to uh, uh, field dress it right there. One of the big reasons I like this headlamp, the Pelican 2720, motion activated. Wave my hand in front of it, turns on. Wave my hand back, it turns off. So if your hands are full of blood, they're wet, they're sweaty, you know, you just don't want to be reaching around fumbling to turn your headlamp on. Pelican 7, 2720 is one of my favorite headlamps just for that reason. As you can see guys, a whole lot of new gear. Got the new camo and the jacket and the pants, the new bag I'm trying out, the little odds and ends, some of the oldies that are also coming with me that are proven. Got the new rifle system, the Remington 700 and 300 Win Mag on that XLR Evolution carbon chassis. Got the Vortex Viper HS-T scope on there. I can't wait to get it out to Nebraska and I can't wait to bag that animal. Guys, check out OpticsPlanet.com to see the reviews, videos, and blogs. I'll see you after the hunt.